Hello, we are group 27 and this video will be the demonstration of our solar sweatshirt. Our group consisted of myself, Matthew Smith as a double E, Rita Freebaron as double E, and Bryson Holland as a double E. Hello, I'm Bryson Holland and this is solar sweatshirt. So with our design, we wanted to harness the power of solar energy to solve a modern day problem of mobile charging. So with our design, people would have the added convenience of being able to place their phone into their pocket and charging would occur without any extra effort. So the way our design works is we incorporated solar panels onto the front, on the sleeves, and on the back of a sweatshirt. And we did that so that there's maximum surface area covered by solar panel to uh, maximize our solar output. So we, choo we chose two ways to charge. We have wireless charging and charging via USB. So these devices would be placed inside of this pocket here and you would have the wireless charger sewn behind the fabric of the pocket so that when you place the phone in, there's close contact made and charging engages. And then the USB would also be inside this pocket for those that don't have wireless charging receivers in their phone or they just choose to have the cord. So here I have the circuit we used. We have rechargeable batteries so that when there's a sunny day and you're not charging your phone, the solar power is going towards charging the batteries. And then when there's cloud cover, the solar or the batteries would take over instead of the solar panels to provide power to the phone to enable charging. So currently I have my phone charging on our wireless charger. And even with the cloudy day, the batteries are providing enough power to charge the phone. And then we also offer the USB connection to charge the phone, which we're also able to charge because of the batteries that stored the solar energy. And currently we are getting some output from the solar panel. However, the majority of the power is going to be coming from the batteries. Now we will be taking a look at the system's efficiency between the input power and the output power. So here we have um, the system. We're going to calculate the overall efficiency. And so currently there's a phone charging through the cord and we're pulling in about 0.3 amps and we get an input voltage of 10 volts. So we're getting three watts input. So for the output of the system going to the phone to charge it we're getting 0.3 amps to charge the phone at 4 volts which is 1.2 watts so we are at about an efficiency of 30 percent which meets our spec now we will take a look at the charging of the cell phone via the power board in the time lapse shown, you can see that the cell phone is currently connected to our power board via USB connection. This demonstration is to show that our power board is able to take an input from a DC source and drop down the voltage to the necessary 5 volts. Here is a quick look of both the development board and our PCBs. In the photo, you can see the wireless charging development board. Our purpose for the development board was to provide proof of concept of wireless charging the sweatshirt if our transmitter PCB didn't work. When designing our PCB, we ended up separating our design into two separate boards, one being our power regulator board and battery charger, while the other one contained our wireless transmitter. The purpose of separating the boards was to lower our chances of electromagnetic interference with the transmitter and also to help reduce our cost of reordering a PCB if a design change was needed. As mentioned in the previous video, we will take a look at the wireless charging via the development board. In this video, you can see that the cell phone is able to charge through the wireless charging development board via a 5 volt DC power source. 
This test shows how close the cell phone must be to the coils to be able to receive the power. If the wireless PCB was functional, it would be inserted into the sweatshirt pocket to provide wireless charging to the cell phone. Now we will be looking at the battery charging circuit. While our phone is being charged by the batteries, we are also able to charge the batteries with a DC source. Now we will take a look at the cell phone being charged by the batteries. As mentioned in the PowerPoint, we wanted to be able to provide charging from the batteries to the cell phone if no solar power is present. In this video, you will see that the batteries can provide a continuous 10 minutes of charging.